welcome to another Incubate show. My name is Basil Zayder, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant. And today we're going to discuss one of two options that are available to those who are um, in the express entry system and they're trying to um, qualify um, and, and get an invitation to apply, whether it is um, under the Federal um, Skilled Worker Program or the Canadian Experience class. So a lot of our clients have approached us and they told us well, they've been sitting in the express entry system for a while. Um, they have good points, but not good enough to be able to receive an invitation to apply. So what are their options? Um, what should they do to be able to proceed with their immigration application um, and then hopefully become permanent residents in Canada? So we've been helping um, a lot of clients through specific provincial nominee programs. Um, today we're going to discuss one of these two options, which is the Ontario Provincial Nominee Program for Human Capital Priority Stream. So um, Ontario PMP um, has two different uh, programs under express entry that we help our clients with. Today we're going to discuss the um, human priorities or human capital priority stream. So um, think about this program as a plug-in inside express entry. You cannot apply for Ontario PMP by itself. First, you have to apply to express entry, qualify, get all, meet all the eligibility requirements. And then after that, you need to um, pass or you need to be able to uh, meet a few other requirements for the Ontario PMP program um, within express entry. And if you do, then you're going to get a notification, a notification of interest from um, Ontario PMP and then you can submit your formal application to them. So the six points that you need to uh, focus on and, and meet the eligibility for it in order to qualify for Ontario PMP human capital priority stream are the following. First is the work experience. You need to have a minimum of one year work experience, full-time experience gained within the past five years. And the definition of full-time experience is a minimum of 30 hours per week for a duration of one year. Next is your education. You have to have a minimum of a bachelor degree. So a bachelor, master's, MBA, a PhD, whatever it is, but as long as the minimum is a bachelor degree. Um, the next is your language. So for this program, you need to have a minimum of CLB level seven or Canadian Le language benchmark level seven. That doesn't mean IELTS uh, uh, seven or TEF seven. And there's a conversion table that you need to use to see how many um, IELTS um, scores or how many um, TEF scores that you need to achieve in order to get CLB7. Now, we do a lot of free assessments for our clients. Um, so if you'd like us to do your express entry system or let you know what points you need to get in your language test to be able to achieve CLB7, make sure you contact us, email us, call us, uh, um, and then we'll be able to assist you with that. The next point um, that you also need to meet for Ontario PMP is uh, under the CRS um, or the Comprehensive Ranking System score. You need to have a minimum of 400 points, and this is the make it or break it um, when it comes to eligibility under this stream. 400 CRS points. Now, um, we said language-wise you need to have a minimum of CLB7, but let's assume that you're uh, 29 years old, you have a bachelor degree and two or three years work, uh, of work experience. You're not going to be able to make enough points with CLB7 to be, to be able to reach the 400 points. For you to get that, you need to be able to double, for an example, your education points or double your, uh, um, um, uh, your work experience points. And for you to do that, you need to actually achieve CLB level 9, not 7. So for you to meet this category of getting 400 points under CRS, you need to have CLB level 9. The next point is just the typical um, settlement funds or financial admissibility um, based on the size of your family. You need to meet the, um, um, the LICO or the low income cutoff point. Um, so if you're a single person or you've got two kids and you're married, whatever it is, you just check the table on the IRCC website to see how much you need to have in terms of funds available to you uh, to meet the financial admissibility aspect of this program. Finally, you need to show your interest um, to reside in Ontario. So within your express entry profile, you either select all provinces or you just say, I specifically uh, select Ontario as one of the provinces I'd like to reside in. 
So to summarize, um, the eligibility criteria for you to qualify for the Ontario Prevention Nominee Program for Human Capital Priority Stream, you need to have one year of work experience, full-time. You need to have a minimum of a bachelor degree. You need to achieve um, 400 points in the CRS system. So sure, we said to be eligible, you need to have language CLB level seven, but we highly recommend focusing on CLB level nine, which is enough for you to be able to meet the category of 400 CRS points. And then you need to have your financial uh, uh, admissibility factor also met, and then show your intent to reside in Ontario. Now, once you meet all these um, eligibility factors and you are in the express entry sitting in a pool, you could potentially receive a, um, a intent um, to uh, apply or LSA, a, a, uh, they call it a, uh, an interest from the Ontario provincial government saying, hey, look, we would like you to apply for this stream. And you have 45 days to submit your formal application to Ontario PMP. Now, be careful here. So far in the express entry system, you've been working on an online system. Now, you're actually going to submit a physical application to Ontario uh, PMP, meaning you have 45 days to gather all your documents, fill in the application form and all that, and send the physical documents along with the application fee to the Ontario provincial government. Now, after you submit your application, then um, the Ontario provincial government is going to take around 90 days or so to process your application. Now, I understand that some of you might have applied for Ontario PMP and you saw a few delays. So in 2015, end of 2015 and 2016, the Ontario provincial government actually invited a lot of people under the express entry system to come in and apply. So there was a huge uh, backlog created because of this. Um, the um, Ontario provincial government promised that they're going to reopen the program um, in November of 2016. So it depends on when you're watching this, this video, um, make sure that uh, you check the Ontario provincial government website to make sure that they are accepting applications at the time where you're interested to apply, and then there's enough uh, uh, demand coming in through uh, the human capital uh, priority stream. So um, I hope that this was beneficial to those of you that are either in the express entry system um, and you're waiting for an ITA, or you're thinking about applying under express entry, but you don't feel like you're going to get enough points, or you just want to know what are your chances of actually coming into the system and getting nominated um, by a provincial uh, 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 government and then being able to proceed to the PR or the provincial, uh, the um, uh, permanent residency application uh, um, um, step after you get nominated by a province. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you have uh, uh, specific requirements uh, available uh, to you or, uh, or you want to know more about it, if you want us to do a free assessment on your express entry profile, uh, you want us to simulate your CRS points uh, prior to entering to the system and going through the whole entire process, feel free to contact us, um, call us, email us, uh, we're available. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, take your calls or answer um, your questions and we're more than happy to provide you with this free assessment. Um, thank you for watching and uh, make sure that you also watch the other uh, show that we have for the other option available to you also under Express Entry. Thank you.